Hey everyone, welcome back to another iZombie recap here on the channel. If you missed last week's episode, there's a video for that in the playlist. We ended last week by finding out who had been behind the fake zombie attack, the evil food truck lady who I'm guessing may be a season long villain. It's kind of funny that she's on here because I just saw her on Superstore playing a very similar evil character. Let's go ahead and get right into it. The episode begins with a man and woman practicing their dance move for some competition. It took me forever to realize the male dancer was Moose from Riverdale, and honestly I'm pretty blown away by how different a character he's playing. Moose was pretty one note on Riverdale and the actor never really made me think he was that great, but this is a total 180 in terms of acting, so good for him. He can dance too, which surprised me. So anyways, the dancing pair are talking about their upcoming event, and the lady takes a drink of her protein shake and says that it tastes bad, and she lets the man have a sip. Now, right away I figured it was poison and it turns out it was and it kills both of them. In the morgue we find out that cyanide is what killed the dancing pair and that they were in the running for a competition in which the award was two tickets out of Seattle which just sounded strange to me. But hey it's iZombie and we don't watch for realism right? Robbie and Liv get all excited for fresh brains and Liv gets the female dancer. She makes some sort of salsa dish and again I'm always fascinated with how they prepare food on this show. Meanwhile, at a local school, the team from Fillmore Graves arrives for some unknown reason and one of the students grabs a gun and the team pull their weapons on said child. Someone is filming all of this for their on their phone but you don't see the child grabbing the soldier's gun so it just looks like the Fillmore Graves team are threatening to kill a group of students. The teachers and admin take the video to Peyton for her to see. Back in the morgue, Liv is clearly feeling the effects of Lady Dancer's brain and comes dancing into the room. Fun fact, Rose McIver actually has some dancing background and I'm surprised it took them this long for to use her skills on the show, but it looks like she was really enjoying herself. Clive says they need to go undercover at this dance competition, but that he's already been seen at the crime scene, so he's out. Liv suggests Ravi team up with her and pretend to be a dancer. I'm thinking it would just be easier to have him eat some of the dancer brains so he'd actually have the dance talent, but they don't go for this idea and I'm not really sure why. Liv and Ravi go to the dance studio and join the competition. The lady in charge of the dance studio is aware they're undercover and suggests that the couple that was second best would probably be the suspects. Rose looks great in this red wig and I've only ever seen her as a blonde, but wow, she could really pull this off. Peyton goes to Major at Fillmore Graves and tensions are high between them. She sends him the video of the incident at the school and he tells her that the reason the school was checking the students was to identify zombie children and then they separate them from the rest of the school. He also tells her the reason his men pulled their guns was because one of the students grabbed one of the men's guns. She says the video doesn't show that and Major asks her to take his word. She doesn't seem to believe him and, he, and she walks out. At a Lamaze class, Clive and his wife are practicing their breathing when Clive's ex-girlfriend comes in very pregnant and seemingly alone. I don't think Clive's wife is really picking up on this at first, although I was thinking she was aware that Clive had a fling with this lady as it happened right before he and Bozio got back together last season. After the class, Clive and Bozio talk to Michelle, the ex-girlfriend. She's about six months along, as is Bozio. Clive tells Bozio that he slept with Michelle a few days before they got back together and she tells him that he needs to go talk to Michelle and get some answers. You know, she's strangely not as upset as I thought she would be. Liv and Ravi meet up with some of the competitors in the dance contest, and although Ravi doesn't want to dance, Liv drags him out on the floor for a dance-off with the other couple. Liv gets a flashback where the lady dancer she's on saw her dance partner with another man, the competition who is seemingly in a relationship with his partner. They all agree to be roommates during the dance competition, and the male competitor seems really excited to be sharing a room with Ravi. Clive asks Michelle if the baby is his, and she tells him that she honestly doesn't know because right after he broke up with her, she slept with her ex-boyfriend, and she's unwilling to get a DNA test done until the baby is born. Robbie's having panic attacks about not knowing how to dance, so Clive and Liv help him. There's this long dancing montage, and wow, who knew Clive could dance like that? I love this whole scene because it would totally be in Rob. I would totally be Robbie in this scenario, not graceful at all. I love the quick scene of him trying to floss because I'm pretty sure after a certain age, it's physically impossible to move like that. Again, though, I don't know why they aren't just having Robbie eat some of the dancer brain. It's right there available and he'd be able to dance with no problems. At the elementary school, some of the students are bullying the zombie boy. And you know, is it really a smart decision to aggravate zombies? I know kids can be dumb sometimes, but wow, was this a bad move. 
Peyton's at the school as well. She's talking to the principal about, about what Major told her, and they hear something going on in the hallway. The zombie boy's fighting back against the bullies, and Peyton sees firsthand how dangerous the zombies can be. I'm sensing that she may be taking sides in this conflict after seeing this. Clive tells Bazio that Michelle doesn't know whose baby it is and that he won't force her to get the DNA test right now. And Bazio's finally a little upset about this whole event. Ravi and Liv perform for the dance competition and again, I can't help but think how great Rose looks in this. Liv has a vision on the dance floor and takes off, leaving Ravi to kind of dance solo. He starts trying to show off and just ends up flossing and shaking his butt and I was cracking up at all of this. Liv's vision of a man begging the dancer lady to let the male dancer go leads them to a new possible suspect. Liv and Clive question this man and he says that he and Gulliver, the male dancer victim, were together but he didn't want him to leave and that the female dancer was crazy. He takes a drink from a water bottle and starts to choke and he's been poisoned as well and he dies right in front of Clive and Liv. After this, there's a memorial service for Weevil from Veronica Mars whose name I've discovered was actually Baron. And one of Liv's gang is given a eulogy and he says how eventually he found out that Baron was a big old marshmallow. And this really made me smile considering in the Veronica Mars fandom, marshmallows were the fans of the sh or what the fans of the show called themselves. I love this little connection here and there since Rob Thomas is the creator of both shows. Peyton and, and Major bring the zombie children to Liv and she tells them to let them stay there as the place is turned into an accidental orphanage. The boys will be safe there, she thinks. The episode ends there and I was a little confused because I wasn't sure we'd figured out who the killer was, so I had to go back and rewatch the scene where Liv and Clive question the other guy. I guess he admits that he didn't mean to kill Gulliver, just the female dance partner, but then he went and drank his own poison, so he died too. Guess I was thinking this was not the answer, but apparently it was. So anyways, I'm going to leave this one right here. I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was definitely a fun one with all the crazy dancing. And I like how it felt more like an older episode without as much focus on Crazy Food Truck Lady or the Zombie Rebellion. Anyways, I'll see you guys all next time. Have a great day.